Hi, I'm Sherry Roman from Roman Agency Inc. in Austin, Texas. Welcome to another segment of Insurance, Death, and Taxes. Today I'm going to be talking about teenage drivers. Now, every week I get a question. Somebody calls my office and says, I'm going to be adding my teenager to my policy. How is it going to affect my auto insurance rates? Well, the bad news is, yeah, it's not going to affect them very, in a very positive way. But, you know, it depends on um, from state to state. A lot of people think they have to add their teenager when they get their learner's permit. But in the state of Texas, you don't have to add your child until the child is 16 or until they get their, their license. Now, the reason for that is, believe it or not, teenagers with a learner's permit rarely have accidents because they have supervision in the car. Now, when they turn 16, what normally happens is you get a letter from your insurance company and it says, we have detected that you have a teenage driver in your household and we're gonna be adding them to your policy. Now, if you don't want to add your teenage driver or your teenager to your policy, you can sign what we call an exclusion and that will exclude your child from your policy. But you have to remember, if you sign that exclusion, which of course keeps your rates down, your child will not have coverage if they are in an accident. So be very careful before you sign an exclusion that you really know your child's not gonna be driving and they don't need that coverage. The good news is there are some discounts that teenagers qualify for. The first one is if they maintain good grades, they get a good student discount, and that's a pretty sizable discount. What you have to do is you get their report card and you just provide it to the insurance company, and that will go on their record. The second one is if they maintain a good driving record, then obviously their rates are gonna be better. And it's important for them to take like a defensive driving course or something, and that also qualifies them in most cases for another discount. You should talk to your teenager about the importance of being a safe driver, not texting and driving. 16-year-olds um, have the highest incidence of accidents of all the age groups. So make sure you maintain a good example for your kids. Also, you can increase your deductibles. And if you don't wanna increase your deductibles on all of the autos on your policy, you could just increase the deductible on your teenager's car. That will decrease your rates, but you have to make sure that you can afford to pay that deductible if, you need to, if you're in an accident and you have to get your car fixed. Also, a lot of parents think that if they get their child a newer car, maybe it's gonna be safer for them because it has other safety features. But you know, that's not always the case. Sometimes clunker cars or POS cars, as, as I've heard some of the younger generation say, um, can be safer and also if you get an older car, you can maybe just have uh, minimum coverages on it. You don't have to have full coverage. Obviously, that would save you some money. Now, finally, every year, you should look at your policy and you should review it if you have a teenager and make sure that you are getting all the discounts that the teenager is entitled to. Sometimes people forget to send in the report card every year and that discount will be taken off the policy. Well, I hope you learned something about teenage driving and what you can do to try to reduce your rates if you have to add a teenager to your policy. Feel free to uh, go to my website and send me an email or you can give me a call and I'll be happy to talk to you in person. In the meantime, drive safely. I'm Sherry Roman from Roman Agency Inc. in Austin, Texas. Thank you.